quick question. Do you like vinegar and oil salad dressing? Me, I absolutely love it. On a romaine lettuce salad with tomatoes, a little bit of chicken, amazing. But here's the thing. On paper, oil and vinegar don't mix. But despite that, the combination is a culinary classic. What's this have to do with dress shoes and jeans? Same principle, gents. On paper, it may not look like a good combination, but if put together skillfully, dress shoes and jeans can look amazing. Rule number one is to wear the right type of dress shoe. Now, when we use the word dress shoes, dress footwear, we can be referring to a wide range of different types of shoes that can be worn with suits or that can be worn with casual wear. So let's start this off with black Oxfords. These are going to be a closed lacing system shoe in black, and these right here should be reserved for suits. They can be worn with black tie. They really should not be worn with jeans. Although you, some guys think they can pull it off, in my opinion, it's never done correctly because these shoes are just too formal. Now, you may be saying, well, what about black Balmoral Oxfords that have a cap toe, maybe have a little bit of broguing? Again, the black, the formality of the color. I think black dress shoes in general lend themselves to not being easily matched with jeans. And remember, there are multiple things that make a shoe formal. It's not only the color. You may think, oh, these shoes are brown. I'm safe here. Not exactly. Let's look at the style right here. We have a hole cut, one of the more formal styles of shoe. So the style right here, along with it being a dark brown, really to me, it lends that this shoe is more towards formal wear, not towards casual wear with jeans. And again, we have another example of a shoe whose color makes it seem like it could be worn with jeans, but whose style says another thing. This again is going to be an Oxford with the closed lacing system. This right here is just going to be a more formal. It would work well with a casual suit, but I would be careful wearing this with jeans. And now let's talk about dress shoes I think would look great with denim. So starting off, we've got brogues. You know these are brogues because I can see the perforations here in the leather. And it does make the shoe much more casual. And that's what we're looking for, a more casual dress shoe. Now, the darkness here in the color, it is something that's going to lend itself to be more formal, but it is still a dark brown. It's not a black. And so this right here, I think if worn with the right dark colored denim, this could be worn with jeans. Another dress shoe style that's going to work really well with jeans are bluchers. Bluchers are open lacing system shoes. They're going to be more casual dress shoes. What are open lacing systems? Okay, so the back part of the shoe, the quarter, basically is thrown onto the front part of the shoe, the vamp. And I can see it right here in the design. So when you're looking at dress shoes, understand that whenever it's an open lacing system like this, it's going to be a more informal dress shoe. These right here, not only because of the design, but also the color, all of this, the cap toe, this makes it a more casual shoe. And it's just a great combination my opinion, for jeans. Now, what about monk straps? You bet. These can be worn with jeans, a wide different variety. You see right here, we've got a contrasting leather. This does make the shoe more casual. And overall, the style with the cap toe, contrasting leather, the double monk strap. You're also going to see single monk strap. Either one can be worn with jeans. Now, what if these were in black? Then I would be hesitant. I do think that you can pull it off, especially maybe with black denim, gray denim. But in general, I would lean towards something that has a little bit more color in it. Now, what about the rule on matching your belt with your shoes? Does it still apply when you're wearing jeans and dress shoes? Actually, gents, it's a trick question because guess what? This combination would work if you go into a 4th of July picnic wearing lightweight jeans, maybe a lightweight white shirt. Guess what? This combination right here is going to be festive. It's going to work. You don't have to exactly match your belt. This is even close to matching the belt. It's more about complementing the whole outfit. Seriously, the whole matching the belt with the shoes is a foundation rule. This is one when you understand the principle, which is you want things to work together, that you understand, okay, this isn't an exact match, but I do see reflection. I see darker variations right here in the finishing of these boots that's going to make it just go really well with this belt. And gents, if you're looking for the best belts on the market, you need to go check out Anson Belt and Buckle. Now guys, today's video is sponsored by Anson Belt and Buckle and for almost a decade, I've been talking about these guys because I love what they do. First up, innovation. So the micro adjust system, what I love about this is you can adjust your belt to a quarter of an inch, get the perfect fit and you don't have to deal with holes. And let's talk about their belt systems. So what I love is that the belt buckles come off and they work with any straps. So, if you have three straps, if you have three buckles, you don't have three separate belts. You actually have nine different combinations. And let's talk options, guys. When it comes to straps, they've got a wide range of different materials, different colors. So, if you want high-end leather, if you want suede, if you want uh, a fabric material, if you want something fun, they've got you covered. And guys, if you're looking to give a gift, check out their gift packages. They're beautifully packaged and the best part is that one size fits all. So, if you've got a 26 inch waist or you got a friend that's got a 46 inch waist, Anson Belt has you covered. It's going to fit no matter what. 
And gents, let's talk customer service. Anson Belt and Buckle is an American family run business. Seriously, they treat their customers just like family. I know this because you guys write me the leathers. You tell me about how you cut your belt too short, an inch too short, and didn't fit you. And Dave found out about this, the owner, and he sent you another strap, no cost, because he understood it was an honest mistake. And this is the type of business I support, the type of business I want to bring to you guys. Go check out Anson Belt and Buckle. If you haven't been there for a while, look at all the different straps, look at all the different belt combinations and I'm proud to bring them to you. So go check them out guys. Use the link down in the description. Next up, we've got loafers. This style right here, the penny loafer design classic. What I love about loafers is that in general, they're casual. So the style lends itself to be worn with jeans, especially during the summer. And right here, you can see that we've got a darker brown, a little bit of a pebbled leather, also a lighter brown. Either of these would work great with denim. And don't be afraid to have fun with the material. All these shoes I'm talking about right here, you don't have to go with the polished leather. You can actually go with suede. Suede, is, it, looks, it looks great with denim. It adds a bit of texture. Now, what about dress boots? So a lot of people are going to argue these aren't truly dress shoes, but I would say no, they're in the same category. And for a lot of guys, they're looking at, hey, buying something that's functional, that's going to work with a wide variety of outfits. And a pair of boots like this is probably a great pair of shoes for you to own. And if you need something a little bit more formal, you need a pair of dress boots that can actually be worn with a suit in inclement weather. Guess what? Check out Chelsea's. Now, these checkers right here, you could actually wear them with gray flannels. I probably wouldn't recommend wearing these ever with a suit, but with jeans, this is going to be a great combination. Now, what about black boots? Do these follow the same rules as black dress shoes that can't be worn with denim? I'm going to say no. I think because the style right here is so clear that this is a casual style that you can wear this with denim, but make sure that it's a darker denim. You don't want to have a whole lot of contrast between your denim and the boots here. Rule number two, the right type of jeans. First up, let's look at the fit. Things that you want to avoid, skinny jeans. You want to avoid overly sized baggy jeans. You want to also avoid boot cut jeans. What we're looking for is something that's going to work with the proportions of the dress shoe. Jeans that can work with dress shoes are often going to be slim cut jeans and are going to be straight cut jeans. Now let's talk about the wash. This is going to be how dark the jeans are, what color they're in. In general, I like a darker indigo. We can also go with black. You can go with a charcoal gray, even actually bring in some fun colors like blues, reds, or even white can work with dress shoes. Again, assuming that you match it with the right dress shoe. In general, the lighter colored jeans are going to be ones that you're going to match with lighter colored dress shoes. The darker colored jeans, in general, darker colored dress shoes. Now, there are washes I'm not going to recommend like stone wash. I think it just yeah, reminds me of the 1980s. Now, let's talk about the style. In general, I'm going to say keep it simple. Why? Because really, we want to draw attention to the dress shoes. Those are going to be the things that are going to get compliments. Your jeans are really the canvas in which we're going to be painting on with the rest of the outfit. Be careful of, yes, having rhinestones on the backside. That's really not a great look for guys or if going for a lot of distressing. Now, this takes me to rule number three, the right combination. And this is putting it all together. So, one of the things I hit on with the jeans is not wearing the baggy jeans. Now, there are some guys that are going to say, you know what, Antonio, I can pull that look off. Maybe you're a bigger guy. You're a little bit heftier. And so, it's something that those jeans just work for you and the dress boots that you're going towards are a little bit clunkier, a little bit larger. So, you're going with large proportions with large proportions. You need to make sure proportions match up. That's why skinny jeans, for a lot of guys, even if you're really skinny, here's the thing. When you wear those dress shoes, it makes them look overly large, especially if you have larger feet. Now, if you've got smaller feet and you've got thin cut jeans and you find that, hey, this really works well, then hey, do whatever you want if you can get the proportions right. Now, the next part about getting the right combination is understanding what colors complement each other and the type of contrast that you're looking for. So, color complementing is when colors naturally go with each other. We can see this in the color wheel. So, I will tell you in general that with blue, the reason we see this predominant in menswear is simply because it's easy to match with a wide variety of other colors, in particular browns. And browns, we're going to see reds, we're going to see orange. All of that is within the brown family. So, all these variations of brown shoes, whether they be dark brown, light brown, guess what? When you're wearing with blue jeans, whether they be an indigo or even a true blue, guess what? The blue with brown combination is in general going to work. So, that's why I do advocate that you initially start with just dark indigo jeans. Those right there, that raw denim, that look right there is going to work with so many great dress shoes that you probably already have in your closet. Now, what about black jeans? What can I wear those with? Well, of course, you can wear them with black shoes, but as we've talked about, when it 
it comes to dress shoes. There aren't really too many black dress shoes to choose from when you're trying to match them with jeans because black in general is going to be too formal. I would recommend oxblood and a few other dark variations of brown will work as well. A quick way to be able to tell if it can be worn with black jeans is simply to look at the sole. Notice how this sole right here is black. So that tells me that whoever designed this shoe actually felt this was a good combination. I feel it's a great combination and guess what? You can pull it off with black jeans. What about light colored jeans? Light gray, light brown, light blue, white. This right here is going to look amazing, especially with the combinations that it doesn't match too closely. So that white with this, the gray with this, that blue with this, amazing. Now what about that brown, that tan? I would recommend if you're going to go with tan, go with something like this. All of a sudden, just a lot, brings a little bit of color, a little bit of flash, looks amazing. Or you could go with a non-color like this. This would work with the white. This would definitely work with the tan. Now, this next rule seems really simple, but so many guys mess this up and that is pay attention to the dress code. I love the combination of dress shoes with jeans with a sports jacket, dress shirt. But understand, this is not a suit. If the dress code calls for a suit, if it calls for formal wear, if it calls for business wear, understand that jeans generally do not fit that category. So don't try to make this outfit what it is not. It is not a suit. A suit is a jacket and trousers made from the same material, usually from worsted wool. Back in high school, I wore a Texas tux and that is where you wear black jeans with boots with the, you know, the tuxedo top. It was regional. It was something we had fun with and it was also something that was understood that you could wear. The point is pay attention to your supporting cast. It's a lot more than just the shoes and the jeans. You need to look at everything else that you're wearing. If you're going to be given that presentation in front of your team and you're going to be wearing the sports jacket, the dress shirt, the necktie, then these are the shoes that you probably want to rock. This right here is great if you're going to be meeting up with your buddies wearing those same jeans, but this time with a t-shirt, maybe a biker jacket. This right here is going to be the shoe you want to pull off. What video to watch next? How about how to dress for your body shape? I alluded to it in this video, but I didn't go into detail. So if you want to know how to choose the right type of jeans, how to dress properly for your body shape, you want to check out this video right here.